This time on Brew to Review, I have the Wild Range IPA from the Wild Range Brewing Company. Um, couldn't really find too much about this. I'm doing this review scriptless because um, I think they're actually. It says it's bottled and brewed by World World Brews. This is another one I got from um, Aldi's. I don't know if you remember the, um, I don't remember exactly which review it was, but it was a while back. I think it was actually another brew by World Brews. Um, I actually told Sarah to go um, get me some beer and, well, not like, go get me some beer. She's going to Aldi's. I know Aldi's has weird, obscure beers. So I said, hey, uh, some beer happens to jump its way into your basket. Go ahead and get it. <laughs> um, so yeah, uh, n no real description about this one. Um, Wild Rains Brewing Company is in New York. Uh, so is that bigger company, World Brews. Um, it says it's made with the, the choicest malt and hops. Uh, Wild Range IPA is an intriguing and complex ale with medium copper co color. This is the ultimate expression of an IPA and hearty spice aromas and extreme hot flavors. Comes in at 6.9, a little bit higher alcohol content. Um, of course, it comes in 12 ounce bottles, six packs. Here is actually the bottle. Kind of cool. When she brought it in, I was like, that's a weird picture. Um, it's some like carnival, old timey guy with two wolves on his arms. It says, don't you dare miss it. Miss it. Mr. Wolf and his semi-trained carnivores will be at the fire pit at midnight. And then it has some stuff in some other languages. It says once wild, always wild. So yeah, I went to their, their uh, website. It's got their website in the bottle and it's just pretty much just this beer I mean kind of strange well I mean like when you click on beer our beer it just comes up comes up with this one but there's a links oh they're dead links they're not linked yet um, so I guess there's wild range wild range amber ale and then wild range IPA but this one may be the only one that's being brewed at this time a little strange but let's give this a try hopefully I have a bottle opener here around here somewhere just watched Sarah's gone for the weekend just watched Yoga Hoosers the Kevin Smith film looks stupid but it was actually pretty good Oh, jeez. Are you serious? <laughs> They're twist-offs. Okay. Well. That's okay, though. Kind of foamy. Mm, let's hope this uh, is a little bit of a higher quality. I don't know. I mean, I'm not expecting much. But. I'm using one of my Lakefront Brewery glasses. Milwaukee and doesn't taste bad or it doesn't smell bad excuse me hmm not an overly piney IPA um, I don't even know if I would consider that an IPA. It kind of has a spice 
rather than a pine taste. Mm, I don't know. I mean, it's it's pretty good. I mean, it's not bad beer, but. <laughs> Had a little too much there. Um, pretty cool, I guess. Um, look at the cap. This cap's got a wolf on it. I don't know if you, the only place you can get this is all these, but it's decent beer. I would give it a seven, seven out of ten. It's not the best IPA I've had. Not the worst by any any stretch. At least it doesn't taste like cat piss. It's always good. And of course, don't forget about the Adidas petition posted down below. And um, don't forget to share this video with your friends if you like it. Give it your thumbs up and subscribe for more once again this is sean signing off goodbye